Hey man, what's up? Yep. You got a new podcast? Finally. Excellent. You want to make it sound good? No worries, yeah. Leave it with me, I'll sort it. All right, this is really cool. My friend Ian Anderson Gray is launching a brand new podcast. He's left it to me to tidy it up, make it sound good. It already sounds good. Could do with a little bit of improvement. Here is the session file in Audition. I'm gonna drag that in now and get to work. Okay, job done. So what did I do? Well, first of all, I went in and worked on the host track. That's the most important thing, working with Ian's track to make him sound as good as possible. EQ, my first challenge, so I added some high pass filter, get rid of those low rumbles and frequencies we don't need. Then go ahead, add on some high end to bring out the crispness and clarity in Ian's voice. And finally, notching through frequencies uh, to make Ian sound good, removing any of those harsh frequencies um, and maybe adding a frequency boost as well, but generally just making Ian's voice sound good. Then I wanted to use dynamics and dynamics will help me to compress the voice so there's no rogue peaks and little valleys when Ian's talking quietly, but the whole voice is consistently loud enough during the whole podcast. And then a little bit of limiting. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll try. Hello, my name's Ian Anderson Gray and this is The Confident. We'll just ensure Ian's voice does not go above minus one dB. I did this for the other guests, Helen on the intercom. Sorry, Ian. Also Isabella. Um, when Isabella was talking to Ian on the phone, I dropped in a couple of extra goodies. First of all, some phone dialing sound effects. So I grabbed them from one of my favorite resources, Storyblocks Audio. <laughs> downloaded some sounds, dropped them into the multi-track session, made it sound like Ian was dialing Isabella on the phone. Hi, is that Isabella? Hi, hey Ian, how are you? Once we got Isabella, obviously a studio quality recording, I dropped on a fantastic filter, the FFT filter in the effects rack, and went for on hold EQ. Hi, hey Ian, how are you? Couple of options there. Hi, hey Ian, how are you? Really make someone sound just like they're on the phone. Tightened things up, added some fades, edited out a few rogue errs and ums, but not too many, trying to keep it really authentic, as authentic as possible. Uh, once I got through and tightened up the intros so there were no awkward pauses or gaps, in the podcast, I mixed down, took a little listen through, looked at the waveform to make sure it was quite uniform in terms of volume. Noticed there was a bit of distortion on the treble on the top end, some sibilance, needed a bit of de-essing. So I marquee selected one of Ian's S's, listened to it in frequency analysis, grabbed the central point, the central frequency where that S was, and then set a de-esser up perfectly to remove any rogue S's. After that, things starting to sound really good, so I did a full mix down, checked everything over, ran it through match loudness in Adobe Audition to make sure the podcast was at exactly minus 16 luffs, which was pretty cool. And once I was happy with that, I could save it out as an MP3 file, 128 kilobits per second mono, change the sample rate from 48 kilohertz to 44.1 kilohertz. And that's pretty much a good job for making sure everything sounds good comparing to the original session file I had with levels all over the place and a little bit of tightening up needed. Everything's sounding pretty good and that is a podcast ready to upload. <laughs>